YouTube, welcome back my friends once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. And I'm out here once again on the Old Faithful 2018 Roguelad Ultra. Old Faithful so far, let's hope she stays that way. Guys, we're talking today about helmets. And you know, I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk before about how you dress when you ride a motorcycle to show what kind of biker you truly are. Now you know, I've been studying this for a long, long time, not really an in-depth scientific study, but I have been studying this a little bit about seeing bikers with different helmet styles and I can, you know, I guess you kind of classify them as being a certain kind of biker, right? Certain kind of motorcyclist. Now we're not talking at all about safety, we're talking all about looks and we're talking about placing people into a classification of biker okay so i guess the first one we're going to talk about here is the beanie skull cap here's a picture of it right here the beanie skull cap i've never owned a beanie skull cap but i hear they're incredibly light very comfortable to wear really no protection but we're not talking about protection we're just talking about what kind of motorcyclist would wear a beanie skull cap well it seems to me from what i've noticed and what i've seen and some of my friends have those beanie skull caps it seems to me that the people that ride with the beanie skull caps are first of all people that don't care about communicating with each other through like any kind of communicator because you can't attach really anything to those little beanie helmets right there's no pockets for the for the ear uh, for the ear uh, headphones or whatever you want to call those earbuds headphones whatever so most of those people don't really communicate with anybody most of those guys and girls out there that i don't see too many girls with beanie skull caps most guys out there i think it's a fashion statement more than anything else like look at me man you know i'm just above a ball cap but you know but you have an approved helmet on your head so that's the first helmet that i see and i see a lot of those and it makes sense at motorcycle rallies you know especially like if you're in uh, sturgis or if you're in florida and then it's getting really really hot you know you wear the little skull caps it's still protecting you somewhat better than a ball cap and it's cooler all right let's talk about the next one up the next one up i would say probably is the quarter helmet okay so the first one's like a little dingy helmet uh, 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 i don't know i don't know what you call that skull cap is what i call it the next one is an actual quarter helmet now a quarter helmet nice marina huh? a lot of nice boats sitting down there i'm down here by the uh, monongahela river that's the monongahela river right out there and i'm in mon valley this is the area where my uh where my father and my mother uh, grew up I was just in uh, Charleroi, Pennsylvania, and now coming up here, this little town up here is the town of Roscoe. Myself and my dad, I'm just getting off base here a little bit, Anna. sorry about that. Myself and my dad used to come to Roscoe about every other weekend because my grandmother lived in Roscoe in, a, in an apartment building. We came to visit my grandmother, which was my, obviously my dad's mother. Well, maybe it's not obvious. Anyway. So we're coming into uh, Roscoe, Pennsylvania right now. Let's move on. So we're on to this like quarter helm. Now quarter helm is a little bit more because it does have ear protection. It gives you a little flap where you can put your speakers in if you want to wear, you know, if you want to use a communicator. And, you know, that kind of person that wears that helmet is a person that's kind of reserved. Um, you know, they're obviously not motor blogging, right? Or maybe they are. Maybe they are actually, because I do believe, who is it? <laughs> Road Reality wears a helmet like that, like a quarter type helmet, and uh, he's a motor vlogger. So, uh, yeah, anyway. All right, now we're gonna move up. We'll see how much time I've been talking here. Not too long, that's good. So yeah, that person is a little bit more maybe reserved. Um, they like a lot of wind in their face on their motorcycles. And they don't want to give up, you know, the cooling comfort of, of that size of a, of a helmet uh, when they're motor vlogging. So, the next one up I'm thinking about is the three-quarter helmet. Now, the three-quarter helmet 
is the helmet that you see myself and Mrs. ACR wearing probably about 85% of the time. A commercial place for sale. It's a saloon. I could buy a saloon. I could be a saloon owner. This is the beautiful town of Roscoe, Pennsylvania. Or as Ichi Boots would say, welcome to Roscoe. Of course, she would never be here, but that's what she would say when she goes into a new country. Most of the housing is on the opposite side of the railroad tracks. So these are all coal towns back in the day. Now, my father never worked in coal, but his father, my, my grandfather, and my great-great-grandfather definitely worked in the coal mines. And they hauled coal on these tracks right here, okay, through the town of Roscoe. All right, so the three-quarter helmet. Myself and Mrs. Ashar were those about 85% of the time, I'd say. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better, guys. I'm trying to wear a full-face helmet, but why? Huh, I don't know. We'll get there in a minute. So the three-quarter helmet are for people that, you know, uh, are, are more concerned about safety, I guess, than the skull cap helmet wears, right? Okay, buddy, stay right the freak there. Good boy. So my grandmother used to live in a hotel, which was right over next to this post office. It was right there in that vacant lot. See that vacant lot? It was right there. Of course, it's been torn down now for several hundred years. Not that long, but a long time. Anyway, moving on. Hey, it's the Interstate Paper Supply Company. Hey, where's Michael Scott? Michael, Michael, no, wrong paper company. I think he was from Dun Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. All right. So myself and Miss Ashar do like the safety. We do. I do hang cameras on that helmet, the three-quarter helmet. We do have Senus. We do have communicators on that three-quarter helmet, um, and we like it because we do like to have the face shield. That's the kind of person that wants a three-quarter helmet, right? Somebody stepping up from the uh, quarter helmet or the little beanie skull half helmet, quarter half, whatever they are, because we want a face shield. I find, now you may fight this, you may tell me it's your, you're a crazy man, but we do a lot of touring on the motorcycle. And I find that on the motorcycles, when you're traveling down the highway at speeds of 70, 80 miles an hour, HR, you know, now this is a hauler down here. Right back in there is a hauler. That's where my dad grew up at, in the hauler. All right. Let's climb this hill. I got this truck behind me. He's probably like, why the hell is that guy talking with his hands up here? Anyway, and hopefully I can find my turn up here that I got to make. I missed it one time with Mrs. HR, and we were way lost. <clears throat> okay, so the three quarter helmets for more or less wind protection is why we like them. Mrs. HR does not do well at all with a full face helmet because she has some claustrophobia. I'll go over here so this truck can pass me. There we go. That's a smart idea, HR. You're just a smart man. He's still going to fall right on my ass. No, he's not. There he goes. All right, good. Because I got to turn up here and I got to find it. Uh, uh, 88. 88 goes that way. That's the way I'm going. What? Well, it doesn't go that way. No, that would be wrong. Let's go this way. All right. That's where we put that sign way back there. That'll definitely screw somebody up on huh? drive right into the yard. Hold on, buddy. I'm coming up that way. Damn you. All right. Good. I found the road. Okay, so let's move on to the full face helmets, guys. The full face helmets is what I have on today. And the main reason I wear the full face helmet is whenever I want to use the GoPro, I like the audio of the wired microphone, so I use a little dongle on my on my uh, GoPro 7. Uh, a lot of you guys use the media mods. I know with wired microphones, they just sound really, really good. I like the audio. Whoa, stop, buddy. <laughs> Anybody want to see me blow a stop sign? Like, why would you put a stop? That's pretty stupid. That's a three-way stop, I guess. All right, anyway. Okay, so up here we may get a view. We may get a view, and I should have brought uh, a drone out today. I could have showed you. Get a really beautiful view up here of the Mon River down there. You can see the vault of the village of Monongahela down there on the other side of the river. Anyhow, so let me finish this up. I'm getting a little long-winded here. 
so the full face helmet to me is really good for motive logging i love it for that aspect of it it is the the highest quality protection that i believe that you can get in a helmet and i'm covering both guys full face helmets and uh, modulars okay anything that covers the head and the chin area now the type of people that wear a full face helmet are generally the people that want to be the safest on the motorcycle um, you know uh, their their skills are very good at riding motorcycles but you know they want to be the safest they could possibly be so this place here this high point used to be an amazing restaurant they closed it but you would sit on their back deck and look over the river and watch jet you know water skiers jet skiers all that stuff absolutely awesome all right finishing up so most people that wear a full face helmet are you know when they wear them all the time like i said i wear three different sizes helmets you know i got the quarter helmet i guess quarter three quarters and my full face the people that wear a full face helmet all the time are probably the smart ones they're probably the ones that want to be the safest out there um, you know they don't worry too much about when it's hot or uncomfortable they just wear them anyway because that's what they wear so there's nothing wrong or right about any of the helmets they're all good as long as it's thought certified approved and whatever else some some other certification then wear your helmet be safe out there hmm. huh where do you go now jack that way that no, wasn't that way all right guys so take care remember as i always tell you guys ride your own ride no let's back up once wait if you really liked this video, and I hope you did, something different to talk about, give me the big thumbs up, right? And smash that subscribe button. Bam! Bam! Smash it. Subscribe to the videos and stick along here with me. Let's see what we're looking at here. Every time I come here, it's weird. It's like, we're going, oh, nope, we're not. We're going to the right. We're going to the right. HDR, what's wrong with you? Oops, you better stop before you get killed. That's what's gonna happen. Na, 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 na. All right. All right, guys, remember, ride your own ride, huh? Be safe out there. Harley Day Ride, your girlfriend HR be down on the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania. I'm not going on the toll road, I'm going straight up to 40. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye for now, everybody. Be safe.